Hi, my name is Dave Brown and I work for the Infrared Training Center at InfraredTraining.com. When learning how to use an infrared camera, it's important to understand how infrared light behaves differently than visible light. One of the things that I find most fascinating about IR is the fact that the properties for a given material in the visible world might have no bearing on its properties in the infrared world. We think of uh, glass, for instance, as being one of the most transparent substances known to man. And yet, in the infrared world, it's completely opaque and moderately reflective. A material like germanium, on the other hand, which is a semi-metallic substance very similar to silicon, is completely opaque in the visible world, and yet nearly 100% transparent in the infrared. And it's for this reason that companies like FLIR use diamond ground germanium as the lenses in their cameras. Learning how to think in the infrared is very important when learning how to interpret infrared images for any application. Specifically, this visible IR paradox comes in play in a very compelling way when doing an energy audit on your house. For instance, based on the appearance of the glass in this image, one might conclude that the upstairs window is significantly colder than the downstairs, or that the upstairs window is better insulated. In fact, the two windows are the same temperature and are emitting the same amount of infrared energy. The illusion is caused by the steep angle between the camera and the upper window, which in this image is actually reflecting the sky and yielding a much lower apparent temperature. The solution in this case is to back up far enough to make the two angles between the two windows as similar as possible. The bottom line is that no matter how much you paid for your infrared camera, its value as a tool is directly proportional to your ability to accurately interpret infrared images.